Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to solve for the sum of infinite geometric sequence. So when we say geometric series, it is the sum of terms in a geometric sequence. So in finding the infinite geometric series, we have the following steps. So the first step is to determine the value of the common ratio. After determining the value of the common ratio, we have two conditions that we need to consider. The first one is if the common ratio is greater than or equal to 1 or common ratio is less than or equal to negative 1, then it is impossible to get the sum. And the second condition, if negative 1 is less than the common ratio less than 1, then it is possible to get the sum. So if the value of the common ratio lies in condition number 2, then to get the sum, we will use the formula as sub n is equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r, wherein n is equal to the number of term, a sub 1 is equal to the value of the first term, r is equal to the common ratio, and s sub n is equal to the sum of the geometric sequence. So let's have our first example. Find the sum of 8, 24, 72, 216, and so on. The first step is to find the value of the common ratio. Using the formula R is equal to A sub 2 divided by A sub 1, A sub 3 divided by A sub 2, and A sub 4 divided by A sub 3. We will substitute the value. So we have A sub 2 is 24, A sub 1 is 8, A sub 3 is 72, A sub 2 is equal to 24, A sub 4 is equal to 216, and a sub 3 is equal to 72. 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. 72 divided by 24 is equal to 3. And 216 divided by 72 is equal to 3. So the value of the common ratio is equal to 3. So if r is equal to 3, so this falls in condition number 1, wherein 3 is less than or equal to 1, then it is impossible to get the sum. So let's have our next example. Find the sum of 3 fourths, 3 over 8, 3 over 16, 3 over 32, and so on. So the first step is to find the common ratio. Using the formula a sub 2 divided by a sub 1, a sub 3 divided by a sub 2, and a sub 4 divided by a sub 3. We will substitute the corresponding value. So we have a sub 2 is 3 over 8, a sub 1 is 3 fourths, a sub 3 is 3 over 16, a sub 2 is 3 over 8, and then a sub 4 is 3 over 32, and then a sub 3 is equal to 3 over 16. Then we will divide those numbers. So 3 over 8 divided by 3 fourth is equal to 1 half. 3 over 16 divided by 3 over 8 is also equal to 1 half. And 3 over 32 divided by 3 over 16 is also equal to 1 half. Since r is equal to 1 half, which is in between 1 and negative 1, then it is possible to get the sum. So using the formula s sub n is equal to a e sub 1 all over 1 minus r, we will substitute the values. So we will bring down S sub n equals the value of the first term, which is equal to 3 fourths, all over 1 minus the value of the common ratio is equal to 1 half. Then bring down S sub n, copy 3 fourths, all over 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. And then after that, bring down S sub n, 3 fourths divided by 1 half we will cross multiply, 3 times 2 will be equal to 6, 4 times 1 will be equal to 4. The lowest term of 6 over 4 is equal to 3 over 2. So the sum of 3 fourths, 
3 over 8, 3 over 16, 3 over 32, and so on is equal to 3 over 2. Let's have our third example. Find the sum of 5, negative 5, 5, negative 5, and so on. We'll find for the value of the common ratio using the formula a sub 2 divided by a sub 1, a sub 3 divided by a sub 2, and a sub 4 divided by a sub 3. We will substitute the corresponding values. So a sub 2 is equal to negative 5, a sub 1 is 5, and then a sub 3 will be positive 5, and then a sub 2 will be negative 5, and then a sub 4 will be negative 5, and then a sub 3 will be positive 5. And then after that, divide it. Negative 5 divided by 5 will be equal to negative 1. 5 divided by negative 5 will be also equal to negative 1. Negative 5 divided by 5 is also equal to negative 1. So the value of the common ratio is equal to negative 1. Since r is equal to negative 1, which is equal to negative 1, then it is impossible to get the sum of the geometric sequence. So let's solve our last example. Find the sum of negative 1 over 9, 1 over 27, negative 1 over 81, 1 over 243, and so on. So first step is to find the value of the common ratio using the formula a sub 2 divided by a sub 1, a sub 3 divided by a sub 2, and a sub 4 divided by a sub 3. So we will substitute the corresponding value. So the value of a sub 2 will be equal to 1 over 27. The value of the first term is equal to negative 1 over 9. The value of the third term is negative 1 over 81. The value of the second term is 1 over 27. The value of the fourth term is 1 over 243. And the value of the third term is equal to negative 1 over 81. And then after that, we will divide. 1 over 27 divided by negative 1 over 9 is equal to negative 1 third. Negative 1 over 81 divided by 1 over 27 is also equal to negative 1 third. 1 over 243 divided by negative 1 over 81 is also equal to negative 1 third. And then after that, since r is equal to negative 1 third, which is in between negative 1 and 1, then it is possible to get the sum. So we will use the formula s sub n is equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r. And then we will substitute the value of the first term is equal to negative 1 over 9 all over 1 bring down minus the value of our common ratio is equal to negative 1 third. And then bring down s sub n, copy negative 1 over 9 over, so bring down 1, negative times negative 1 third will be equal to positive 1 third. And then 1 plus 1 third will be equal to 4 over 3. Then we will simplify. So S sub n will be equal to negative 1 over 9 divided by 4 over 3. So we will cross multiply. Negative 1 times 3 will be equal to negative 3. 9 times 4 will be equal to 36. So lowest term of negative 3 over 36 will be equal to negative 1 over 12. So the sum of negative 1 over 9, 1 over 27, negative 1 over 81, and 1 over 243, and so on, is equal to negative 1 over 12.